Alright guys, we just got out here. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be windy today. We're gonna get set up quick. Probably gonna hunker down for most of the day. Let's get set up and see if we can what we can get up here. New spot, I've never been here. Let's go. See this video you guys can, might see this video in the fall of 2020 to get hyped for the 2021 fishing season or you guys see it a couple days after i film this which today is february february 15th so in the middle of february so we're in the hard uh season of what they say uh tougher times fishing lake simcoe or any ice fishing you know but i want to show you guys something i, I picked up last night at cabela's is the vault Pelican vault designed for rifles. The last time I guided, I lost two rods, so I have to backtrack and find them. And uh, yeah, so I got my rods in here. They're being held in place. I can probably put, I don't know, six, seven rods right now. There's four. Yeah, there's four. I got some tackle in here too, as well. Nothing's being pinched. My reels are not going to get broken or anything. You know, when when you're sledding out there, everything bounces and you can have pressure against the reel. The rear handle, they can snap out had issues. And I put in my cooler in here, I got obviously my food, but I got my fish finder in here. You guys can't even see and that's an Elix 9. It's the big one, so it fits in here. I got my light, anything that can get crushed, you know, ketchup bottle, uh, ketchup bottle, mustard bottle, so they don't get broken everywhere. I even got my hat in there so it doesn't get broken. So same thing, being protected in there. The reason I'm doing this is I, I got a 20 liter uh, propane tank in my hut. So when I'm driving the snowmobile, you know, thing can bounce around and you can get crushed like this where they get super good protection on this. So now I need to shut up, nut up, and go fishing. Let's go. That fish right away on the first drop. You know, you guys, it's uh, dead smack February 15th. This the middle of February. It's where I call it the February little all. You know, uh, they get a lot pickier. They don't stick around your bait as longer. It's the same thing as when you're fishing in August. If you fish a lot of tournaments, you're on the water a lot. You'll notice in August the fishing is not as great as June, you know. And as the end of February approach, it gets better and better and, and, into, and into March, so. You gotta take your time when you're out there. So I did mark one on the first drop. Didn't stay. So we're gonna see what we can get here. I have a big bait on, so it's not really white fishy, but there's a bird that I like trout. Hopefully she eats it. Oh, this is fighting weird. Didn't really get a hook in him. Now he's got my other rod in. Yeah. Oh, the white fish. A very small one to be a white fish too. Woo! That's a good small natural white fish. Good to see. It's first small the smallest one I've seen this season. It's like three pounds. Hit the Thule perch with the sauce. Uh, it fought really weird at first. <laughs> Little baby one. Beautiful to see. Hit the Thule perch. We're gonna go and release him right now. He goes back down. <laughs> bye bye. So that's what we caught it on. It's the dual realis lipless Thule perch. A lot of you guys ask what I got them on, so 
It's available on the CanadianTacoStore.com. I like to snap it. I'm snapping it so my bacon vibrate. It's dark down there. It's murky. There's a reason why I'm not doing underwater footage right now. Hard to see your bait. So, snapping it. Let that lipless make some sounds. Let them know where it is. You yeah, know. That's a lake trout, I think. That came up so aggressively. Yo, it's a whitefish. Man, that whitefish was so aggressive. My God, on the Thule perch. Thule perch is a hot bait today. Uh, another natural. Look at this, look how aggressive that fish is. Like I have to drop my, that whitefish acted like a lake trout. All right guys, so time to release him. We snapped a couple pictures for you guys on Instagram. You guys can check me out on Seabass Outdoors on IG. Lots of cool picture. I put some underwater footage I don't share on, on uh, YouTube because it's just too short for YouTube. So time to release him. All right guys, yeah, go go. One thing I want to stress with you guys, and it's it's, it's important in, in the, the MNRs has studies and reports out there. If you're fishing deeper than 50 feet, that, that's where the thermocline sits on Lake Simcoe in the winter. And those white fish rarely come up. Uh, the deeper white fish, for them to adapt, they're just like us humans. If we go diving and we come up too quickly, they'll get barotrauma and a lot of those white fish don't survive those depths so if you're fishing camping felt and you know 50 feet or deeper a lake trout is totally different but if you're catching a white fish that deep you should more than likely keep it and if you're fighting a fish and you're not going to keep it take your time don't rush it because if you take your time that fish has a better survival rate Otherwise, if you rush it up 90 feet of water, I guarantee you that fish might swim away, but I'll come back up and die under the ice. True story. Hope you enjoyed the little tip, uh, conservation tip of the week. Slash that like button, subscribe, and most importantly, out of subscribing and liking, share that video to your friends on social media if you liked it and you find uh, useful tips. But then, you know, I just caught this big white fish, and I did it this morning, a bit earlier. It's still the morning, it's only 9 o'clock. But, uh, putting some more goby sauce on there really helps because that's a big bait for white fish. They really nail it down with this. Looks like it anyway. Can't really see. No, it's a big white fish. That's why it's the morning you get a good drag. Like, they get crazy at the hole a little bit. Man, I fish hit it so hard. He's a goner. Look at it. <laughs> Guys, I can't stress it enough. You got to be really careful when you do this. There's not much you can do because you got to have tension on, on your line. And those fish are going back and forth. So always pay attention. If you're going to go and grab somebody's fish, put your hand. Don't touch the line. Put your hand in front. At least it's going to go in your hand, not your eye. Right? Um, you know, I'm fishing with a Thule perch. 
and it's got treble hooks. So I try to pull them out like this so I don't get stung. They, they trash out the hole, but that was a big white fish that we lost. He was feisty and he hit that thing so hard. Man, this, it was increasing there, but uh, we had lots of sauce on there too still. Whew, still gooey. All right, let's go catch some more. He's placing himself. Twice. Yeah. That's a good fish. This could be a lake trout. It feels heavy. It's a big white fish. I have to be careful because I got a bet going on with Josh and I already lost one at the hole. That one's even bigger, I think. That one didn't take long to bite. I feel bad for those people who don't have Thule perches. But I got some. Uh, it's a bait that I've been using for two, three years now. And it's definitely a staple, like a bait that you gotta have on your, he doesn't look hooked properly. He's hooked properly, just like one hook in the mouth. That's a big, big white fish. Well, it looked big anyway to me, compared to the other one I just caught, and the other one I just caught was bigger. That's a white fish doing that. I know my drag's super loose right now. <laughs> I haven't even tightened it. He, he does not want to come. Luckily for editing, you guys probably won't will only see it a little bit of the fight. Ooh, it's a big white fish. Losing some. That's a good fish. So, I have a bed going on with Josh where he, um, whoever catches the longest white fish in February, the other one has to eat a hot pepper. Or get shot with a paintball, and Josh said he'd rather get shot with a paintball. So, Thing is, I work full time, I only get to come fish on the weekend. He gets to fish every day of the week. He guides now too, by the way, so. Twenty-seven and a half, maybe a bit, hold on. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Guys, this is the fish I just caught. It's probably one of my biggest white fish I've ever caught. Um, it's a big fish. Don't know how much it weighs yet, but we're gonna release him. That's how big it is. That's an eight inch hole. It fits in it, but it's a tight hole. I've seen some big whiteies in my life, but that's one of the bigger one. I'll hold him a little bit. He did give me a good, good fight. And he's ready to go. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what we come out here for. Thule Perch, Wicked Custom Rod, Canadian Taco Store, Sea Bass Outdoors. Give it a like. I'll see you on the ice. Fish on bottom. This looks small to me. Whoa! Whoa, this bit hard. That's a that's a burbot for sure. Burbot, 100 percent burbot. Just a wee bit. I know it's a burbot. He hasn't fought yet. So my biggest burbot is the Ontario record, but I'm not saying this is close to it.
but it's a good fish. On the Thule perch, I just knew the way it bit. It bites like a largemouth bites a jiggle. Punk! <laughs> here he is. Completely choked the Thule perch. Put him through here. That's a good size bear, but I eat choked that. Completely choked this. Look, look, look how bad you ate that, that Thule perch. I don't want to even, I'm, I'm worried about putting my thumb in the mouth. So if I put them sideways, like upside down like this, most fish will calm themselves down. I'm not. That's how bad he wanted the Thule perch. And burbits, you can hold them like a bass. But look, look how bad he wanted that Thule perch. And that's why he bit so hard. That's a good size, six, seven pound bear, but look at the size of them. And they're spawning right now, but they're beautiful, man. I'm, I'm so grateful for those bear bits because I hold the record in Ontario and I've yet to eat one. I know they taste good. I had to kill the, re kill the record to make it a record. So I make it my duty to release every one I catch. Um, it's a good size one. We're gonna release them. We're gonna release them. That's how they sit in the bottom, guys. He's eager to go back. Oh, God, it's cold down there. This is what I do to try to get shots for you guys. I can feel my arm. Hey. Guys, it's 10 o'clock. We got a little outing this morning. We caught a bunch of fish. It's too windy for me, it's gonna break down my hut. Uh, I like to take care of my equipment. We're gonna go do some shooting with the rifles. I might do a video. Let me know if I should do a video, a shooting video. We'll see you guys on the ice very soon. Thanks for all the support. Peace.